the way he's prepared in the past for the joint session two years ago in the State of the Union last year, I would call it the, uh, he sharpied up a lot of the passages, uh, put it in his own voice. His speechwriting team really understands the president's uh, priorities, his tone, his intonation, his the content of what he expects from these addresses. He's also going to be visionary and call for some really bold actions in the future which require cooperation from Republicans and Democrats. The president has made very clear he is willing to do the deal on DACA, TPS, new immigration judges, border patrol agents, humanitarian needs, technology, uh, drones, everything, but it also must include, include a physical barrier. And I will tell you, increasingly, I see some Democratic lawmakers tongue-twisted when they're trying to explain what they would and would not support in terms of a wall or physical barrier because they've been told, don't say wall, wall's a four-letter word, don't say wall. But how do you explain your past votes for secure fences or for renovating wall or wall-like structures? And how do you how do you marry that really with what the president has said clearly privately to the leadership and publicly now which is call it what you want steel slap barriers wall but make sure it's tough enough and strong enough that people can't drive through it crawl under it climb over it or walk around